in that respect. What do you make of his comments about CSOs? Some say, well, this is not new. In 2018, he launched an attack on the CSOs, and they have become familiar with a sitting president attacking CSOs. Well, that's surprising, given the fact that the president's own party um, has been a very prolific user um, of CSO-type engagements with, 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 the, with the political space in Ghana. I mean, um, all, um, let my vote count. Alliance for uh, Accountable Governance. Um, the President's Party is one of the um, well-known pioneers for setting up politically aligned think tanks like the Dankwa Institute. Um, it dates back even before the transition into multi-party rule with the Young Elephants Club and a whole bunch of civil society type engagements. So if the President all of a sudden um, feels uncomfortable about the work of the CSOs, I will presume that that is because in some instances, those activities are not aligned with his political interest. And it's natural to expect that a political actor will not be too happy if there are other actors that, you know, um, are hell-bent on putting his government under strict scrutiny, some of which might have political costs. Um, so we're not that surprised. We just don't believe that he's sincere in his concern about CSOs, given the, the history, as I've just narrated it. Um, we just think that um, it's understandable that if uh, CSOs uh, and, and others of that ilk um, um, have uh, con con uh, are undertaken activities that perhaps could have significant political costs for the president's party, um, it's natural that we will expect him to fight back. You just spoke about or give us a list of some uh, CSOs that are clearly established by political parties or political party uh, or people who are politically exposed. And so is the president wrong when he says some of these CSOs are partisan? And I suppose we know that some of them are partisan. Some of them are just set up to do political propaganda. That's the actual CSO activity. I, we always uh, warn people to be very careful in the way that they characterize the civil society movement in Ghana. There are maybe 50,000 um, or so CSOs, the vast majority of them are community-based organizations focused on voluntary initiatives at the grassroots level, you know, helping young people get, get a step on the, get their foot on the, on the, on the ladder, the, the, the employment ladder. Um, the bunch of them are involved in um, cooperative type economic activity. We have CSOs that are primarily hometown associations. There's a wide diversity of CSOs. Within that very broad spectrum, maybe 1% of them are politically active. And of the 1% that are politically active, um, the vast majority of them are still um, locally focused. So mm -hmm. when it comes to nationally focused, politically active CSOs, we're talking about a very minute fraction of CSOs in this country. I'm not sure that when the president has concerns about CSOs, he has a concern about the 99% of, of, of CSOs that are generally community focused. He, he perhaps has concerns about CSOs on the political landscape. And now the concern we have to have is that unless we, we, you know, we're completely convinced that just because someone has been elected um, to represent specific interests, because it's a majority process, and if you, you do a ranking, very often you are voting for someone because that's who is on the ballot, and in comparison with others on the ballot, this is the only one that perhaps um, is, is your least um, unfavorable candidates. So a lot of the time we don't vote necessarily because the person that we are voting for is completely representative of all our interests. Given that fact, the nature of the democratic game is such that you have a lot of suboptimal representation. A lot of people may not you know, believe that their MPs are sufficiently capable of rep representing all their interests. CSOs fill in that gap. So unless you are not a Democrat, unless you don't understand democratic participation, it will be very difficult with a straight face to hold that CSOs do not contribute remarkably, do not contribute extraordinarily to the progress of our democracy and to the quality of our democratic institutions. Mm. Which is why I say that the president was performing for our audience. Um, his petition, the amount of the platform they perform, we condemn sometimes 
And in that regard, we perhaps should not put too much store mm. on, on what he says when, mm. you know, clearly he's performing for an audience. All right. Well, we know the president uh, relied heavily on Imani's work uh, ahead of the elections, uh, as in the election that brought him to power, and also work by Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition and the rest of them 